Wolf pack. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good morning, everybody! Crowd graduates of the class of 2010, if you feel it good, let me hear you say yeah! yeah! Friends and family of the class of 2010, if you feel it good, let me hear you say yeah! Yeah! All right, I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> I know it's Sunday, and for us college students, waking up this early at any time in the week is just crazy talk. But hey, I guess we can make an exception for graduation, right? There's no way to personally thank everyone now, so I won't. Plus, I'd rather do it a little more personally. So, I'll be responding to Facebook comments as soon as I can in the order that they are received. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But for now, on behalf of all the graduates, I would like to say thank you for everyone for being here and uh, for supporting us. Now that I'm about to graduate and look forward to the adult world, I think that it's time for me to come clean on why I really came to Santa Cruz. It was a little over four and a half years ago that I told my parents we should cancel our LA college trip we had planned because of the vibe I got from UCSC and how I knew I wanted to pursue my college career at UC Santa Cruz. Despite loving the campus, the mellow atmosphere, and those cool gray UCSC hoodies that seemed to be the true sign of going to college, the real reason why I decided to come to UCSC was because of a girl. What? You didn't come to UCSC because of the most fearsome mascot of all time? The banana slug? No, 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 no. Keeping the details short, I didn't want to go to LA because I was super into her and supposed to see her during my break. And I'm sure if I had told my dad that, he would have been like, what are you talking about? Get in the bleeping car right now. Of course though, I didn't actually meet up with the girl during break, but I still came to UCSC genuinely excited, but with the thoughts of her still in the back of my head, it, it would be nice to say that after a month at UCSC that I was over her, but I wasn't, and that was hard. And who are we kidding? What type of story would this be otherwise? However, being here was made easier by my new friends, like my roommate Norman Lopez. What happened next was four years of my life that I wouldn't trade for anything. Four years that are culminating today with me standing before you all. The reason I bring this whole story up about the girl is not because I'm bitter. Really, I'm not. <laughs> In actuality, it wasn't until last quarter that I finally really moved on when I gave a 45 minute lecture on when I'm at my best, solving these problems educationally through the, through the theories of moral psychology. Yes, I admit, it's kind of sad that it took this long, but in retrospect, it's something that only UCSC could provide. Why? Well, because you can only take moral psychology taught by Ralph Quinn at UCSC. <laughs> UCSC has provided me four years of well-rounded education that has opened my mind to the subjects of supply and demand, World War II, social documentation, the theories of Freud and Rollo May, and finally, a nostalgic tour of the one and only Walt Disney. Maybe more importantly though, UCSC has allowed me to learn about something more important over the course of my four years here, myself. I experienced the laughs, tears, and growing pains of a boy who entered UCSC without a clue in the world to what was next in his future, only to leave four years later as a young adult who stands before you all, now ready to take on the world. Although for the sake of honesty, this adult will need to use his parents' laundry machine when he gets home. <laughs> I have been asked if I will miss Santa Cruz and college, and yes, I will miss the people and memories that college has provided me, and yes, I am in a sense sad to say goodbye. But I am also even more excited to enter the world, pursue my career, and finally see what is next for me. These past four years have been an amazing trip, and not in that stigmatized Santa Cruz way that I'm sure has crossed the mind of all you parents who got to watch the news in April on the 20th around 4 o'clock. But I leave USC, UCSC I leave a more educated and prepared person for the world. Maybe more importantly though, I leave a more well-rounded, sensible, and mature person as well. Although Steph, Irene, and Lisa may seriously question that mature part. <laughs> I will miss you Santa Cruz. The protests, the hills, the lecture halls, and the first rain. It makes you one of a kind. If I could offer advice to those still here and the generations to come, it would be this. one. Fully embrace who you are and be that person. Life is too short not to be. Number two, pursue your passions and the things that make you happy. Try new things that interest you and don't be afraid of failing at them because then you won't get caught looking back on life and wondering, man, 
What happens when you fit a hundred people in a living room that, for a gathering? 1640, you know what I mean. <laughs> and finally, take these concepts and use them together so you will succeed in a world, succeed in the world. As my parents say, if you're happy doing what you do, the money will follow. And as graduates entering the adult world at this time, this outside thinking of the box has never been more relevant. It may take a few years to figure it all out. I know it did for me, but that's what this time is for. It's kind of a cliche, but looking, looking back, it's true. As for the girl, let's just say I've had enough adventures and so many great people in my life to make me realize I should have spent less time wondering about her and should have gone back to just living life. In short, it's been one heck of a ride. To the graduates of 2010, I wish you nothing but the best in what is next for you. And my hope is that you're able to smile, laugh, and love in whatever is next and whatever that next may be for you. Congratulations, everyone. We made it. Here's to finding our passions. Thank you, and Mom and Dad, I love you. Thank you, Jeffrey. This year, the Crown Graduation Committee has asked senior lecturer in writing, Tim.